Okay, here we go. This is uh, part six, I believe. Um, like I said, I think I mentioned that before. I was probably going to lose track of these things. Um, I guess I could kind of mention this. Um, on the uh, main menu here, you see special movie and additional credits. Additional credits, I believe, is just for um, the uh, the current version I'm playing of this game. Uh, you know, again, it's a re-release on PlayStation 4, so whoever, you know, uh, techs or, you know, uh, people who you know, ported it over to PlayStation 4 would be in those credits. Special movie is just the uh, the E3 announcement trailer for uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, which is like now, what, three, four years old now? So we're not going to watch that. Plus, I would probably get immediately um, flagged for that. <laughs> um, because that is owned and wholly uh, the property of Square Enix. So, um, yeah, we're... We're back in Wall Market. We uh, we just got through with the uh, the uh, Sector Seven plate drop sequence. Um, so you know, as far as we know, Eris has been kidnapped. Marlene is somewhere. We're not sure where. Um, Eris says she's safe though. And as far as we can tell, Jesse, Wedge, and Biggs are now they're gone. They dead. Um, which sucks. It really sucks. Um, so. Hmm. I wonder. I, I've always wondered this. I don't think I've ever gone up back over this way. Uh, yeah, you can't get in. Stupid, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go We're gonna go back this way. We're actually going to go to Eris' house um, because we should probably, at the very least, go tell her mom what's going on because, uh, you know, it'd be kind of a dick move not to. At least I think it would be. Uh, but, yeah. So, yeah, and obviously, like, I, I think I mentioned it in the last episode, but yeah, I let the uh, last episode go a little longer uh, than normal, uh, or at least than I have been. And that's mostly for pacing, uh, because we've got, um, we've... I'm gonna say, I'll, I'll go ahead and say this much. I believe that for the Midgar section of this game, uh, we've got this episode to get through, we've got the next episode, and I think that'll be it for Midgar, I think. Um, assuming that everything goes according to plan. Which frankly, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but we'll see. Ooh, got Cloud's Limit gauge filled up. That's good. I kind of want Barrett's up. That's that's the, that's the ticket, baby. Because um, he gets a pretty cool second limit, which is useful. Um, though it may not immediately uh, be seen as such, but it is useful. That I can assure you. Um, so, let's see. Uh-oh. Crying kid. Sniff, sniff! Oh, first there was a rumbling, then cracking, and then kablam! I was so scared, Snoof. Um, yeah, there's really not a whole lot to talk. Well, no one we really need to talk to right this second. However, it still wouldn't be enough. Well, how about some materia? All right. Um, matter of fact, we're gonna do this. We're gonna get that, that, and that. And we'll get another one of those. Uh, honestly, I don't really have to do all that, but it, to me, anyways, it seems pretty smart to do so. Um, to give everybody a little more to work with, so we're gonna give, we're gonna give Tifa some, we'll give her lightning, and we will give her. Um, wait. Oh, well, I, I need another all materia. That's okay. We'll just we'll roll with that. We'll roll with that. We'll see how that goes. Um, not really sure how how that's gonna go, but we'll see. Okay, let's go talk to Elmira. Elmira, I forget her name. Elmira. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> That's my allergies. I'm sorry. I apologize for that. Any headphones users, I apologize. Cloud, wasn't it? Uh, it's about Eris, isn't it? I'm sorry. Shinra has her. I know. They took her from here. They were here? 
That's what Eris wanted. Why is Shinra after Eris? Eris is an ancient, the sole survivor. What did you say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. It must have been 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front, some faraway place called Wutai. One day, I went to the station because I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. My husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. No, I'm sure his leave was just cancelled. I went to the station every day. Then, one day... to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, please take Eris somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I was lonely, so I decided to take her home with me. Eris and I became close very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. It just occurred to me, I'm turning Elmira's voice, it's slowly transitioning into, like, Deckard Kane. I'm- I apologize about that. Ah, uh, stay a while, listen. It's a bit higher pitched, I guess. She told me how she escaped from some kind of research laboratory and that her mother had already returned to the planet. So she wasn't lonely. Many other things. It's a cool little transition. Return to the planet. I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant a star in the sky, but she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Leah! Mom! 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 Oh, Mom! Please don't cry. Eris just blurted that out all of a sudden when I asked her if something happened. Someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you, but he's already returned to the planet. At that time, I didn't believe her. But, uh, several days later, we received a notice saying my husband died. And that was it. A lot had happened, but we were happy. Until one day. Hey, it's my boy, John Romero. <laughs> we want you to return Eris to us. We've been searching for her. For a long time. No, never! Eris, you're a very special child. You are of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. At that moment, I found out she was an ancient. The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Eris will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slums. That is why Shinra would like Eris's cooperation. He's wrong. I'm not an ancient. I'm not. But Eris, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone? No, I don't! But I knew, I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I never noticed. It's amazing how she avoided the Shinra for all these years. Shinra need her, so I guess they wouldn't harm her. 
but why now? Well, she brought a little girl here with her. Sang found them on the way here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. Sang, one of the true prime evils now. She decided to go into the Shinra in exchange for the little girl's safety. Marlene. Marlene! Eris was caught because of Marlene? I'm so sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father. How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about what might happen to Marlene if I, uh... Look, but you gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. Because if I don't, this planet's gonna die. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of her. I just want to be with her, always. See? He's going in circles now. Whew. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs asleep, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we got it. Can we follow? I wonder, can I follow him? I don't think so. Oh, I can. Neat. I'm so glad. I'm so glad you're all right. Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Okay. Cloud! You're gonna help Eris, right? She's done so much for me. If, the Sh if Shinra's involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. Good for you. Guess what? Guess what? Eris asked me lots of questions like what kind of person Cloud is. I bet she likes you, Cloud. Yeah, let's hope so. I won't tell Tifa. Oh my god. <sighs> Having the same problem I had uh, when I originally played this game on PC. It's the same problem. I'm like feeling horrible at some of these dialogue choices. <sighs> okay, let's talk to Tifa. It's my fault. I was the one who got Eris involved in this. Don't say that. Eris doesn't think so. Alright, we can go. You're going after Eris, right? Yeah. I'm coming with you. We're going right into Shinra headquarters. You gotta be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I feel I have to push myself to the limit. Push it to the limit! <laughs> if I stayed here, I'd go crazy. Here comes Big Man himself. Sorry, but I, can you take care of Marlene a bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. You'd better go somewhere else. You're right, but promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. Alright, let's go. How do we get to the Shenra building? Uh, there's no train that goes up there anymore. Well, let's go to Walmart. We might be able to find something there. Okay. That is a fair enough... Fair enough. I agree. Okay. Wow, that was a big plot dump, wasn't it? Um, but not too bad. I mean, this game, again, it's paced pretty pretty alright. Um, you know, considering it could be... Oh God, it could be so much worse, but it's not. Um, you know, you're getting to learn about characters pretty quick without much issue. But is there an end? Uh, no, there is not. My dream is to grow up and become a big-time dealer on Wall Market. Okay. Yeah, good luck with that, kiddo. Uh, that's item shop, item shop. Blech. Okay, so we just need to go to Wall Market. Not a big deal. We can get there. Pretty easy. Okay. And hey, we might get some extra experience too, so that's always a plus. Oh, I love the background of this. It's so cool looking. It's bombed out. Like, slum. If we get Tifa's um, limit level up too, maybe. Just maybe. Hurt. 
Barrett's leveling up. That's good. These are good things. All good. I don't know why they let you climb up there. I keep, every time, I always think, I pass by and I always think, okay, there's got to be something in there, but no. Actually, no. Good oh girl, use that potion now. Okay. I'm gonna wait on these because that. Mm. That was a little too close for comfort. Nine. 911. Really? Every game, I swear. Um. Uh, I got, yeah. Might as well, because uh, I'll be able to. Got an inn in Walmart it anyway, so. Let's do. Yeah, let's just keep going. We got... Time is not on our side! You know, literally, figuratively, however you want to look at it. Damn, look at all that damage, though. It's a mess. Don you, man. Shinra. They're all run by a bunch of bastards. Just terrible human beings. I will stay. Thank you. Okay. Alright. Let's save our game real quick. Might as well, it's right here, so no reason not to, right? Wait, how are we uh, in there? Okay. Oh no, we don't need to go to the dress shop. We need to go up here. Uh, Wanna see something awesome? Follow me! Everyone climbed up this wire. Looks scary. Brr. Can we climb it? Yeah, at least to the upper world. All right, we'll climb the wire. There's no way we can do this. You know how far it goes up? There is a way. Look, what's that look like? Uh, just a normal wire. Oh, yeah? Well, to me, it looks like a golden, shiny wire of hope. You're right. This is the only way to save Eris. Okay, that was a bad analogy, but Barrett, I understand how you feel. Let's go. Okay, actually, we're gonna we're gonna pause on that for just a quick second. Um, I forgot to do one little thing, and it's sort of important. Well, it's not really that important, but you're going up to the plate. You better have batteries. You're gonna sell me something you just found? Hey, you know, I repaired them, so it's all right. Why do I need batteries to climb up to the plate? You'll find out when you get there. How about uh, 100 gil for each? Yeah, whatever. Okay. There we go. We got our batteries. Um, I almost forgot to do that. I'm glad I remembered to because we would have had to uh, go through multiple loading or multiple uh, fade out screens to uh, get back there. But yeah, we're climbing up the wall. Gotta love the music. Oh man, this is horrible. Hey, scary, huh? Dad told me that it's Shinra's doing. Okay. Okay. For anybody who's not cool with like um weird uh weird uh perspective issues, then uh, this this area is a real mind fuck. It's like an MC Escher painting. But here we go, we get to watch the propeller do its thing. This is why we need the batteries, because this is how we have to navigate this uh, hellscape, if you if you will. I don't know, it's not too bad, it's just like, first time, for somebody playing it the first time, they might be like, what? Like, how the hell do you even figure out how to navigate this? It's not really as bad as you might think. I, um, you know, it could be a lot worse. 
like that, for instance. Like, you know, it kind of makes sense. Be better here, too. Alright, and then that. Oh, oh boy, this is my favorite part. Get ready. Can I do it on the first try? Because this is really a pain in the ass. Looks like the only way to jump is onto the bar. Okay, should make it... If Okay, so this is... Ah, shit. Okay, so there's a... It's like an audio cue thing. It's its really weird. Okay, should make it if I jump before it comes too close. Nope. It's real finicky. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, there we go. Now we're good to go. And get this, we're gonna see me do that again. Um, for reasons that will be explained in just a moment. We gotta get to that battery. Why you might ask, I don't know. Because I'm a completionist of, at heart and I refuse to uh, ignore this perfectly. Need a battery here too. All right. Received an ether. Those are hard to come by. They're worth it. Those things can really get you out of a nasty jam if you get into one. Hey! I think I got it now. I'm an expert at that now. Yay! Yay! Ugh. We gotta climb this way. And we gotta go this way? And then up. Yeah. Nice. This is probably one of my favorite favorite themes in the game. It's just so cool. It's just a, not, such a perfect music cue for Shinra. Okay. Now. Hey, you ought to know this building well. Not really, now that I think about it. This is the first time I've ever been to the headquarters. I heard about this place before. Every floor above the 60th is special, not easy to get to, even for employees. Must be where they took Eris. Security's pretty light now. Alright, let's go. Wait a second. You're not thinking of just running right through the main entrance, are you? Well, what else did it look like? I'm gonna kick some Shinra button. That's not going to work. We've got to find another way. There's gonna be another way. We keep wasting time like this, Eris will... I know that, but if we get caught here... Look, what should we do? Let's sneak in quietly. See? Let's be careful and find a different route. Now, on that note... Uh, this is a perfect stopping point. Uh, reason being is that this section is a somewhat lengthy section, so you can you can tag this uh, this episode as basically just being a kind of a kind of exposition dump uh, for you know for the sake of Eris. But now this is the final main section of of the Midgar section of Final Fantasy VII. This is the Shinra building. Uh, we're going to be sneaking into it, and we're going to find out uh, where Eris is, and hopefully maybe get a better a better sense of what's going on with Shinra. Uh, but we're going to find that out in the next episode, so I hope you tune in for that. Um, in any case, thank you for watching. I appreciate it if you've been with me this so f if you've been with me all the way here so far. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, like, subscribe, or comment if you want to. I don't really care. I say it every time, but that's more like YouTube etiquette, I guess, at this point. Um, anyway, have a good rest of your day or evening, uh, and I hope you join me for the next installment of Final Fantasy VII. See ya.